Hey guys, welcome back to Suburban Ranch. Uh, today we're going to be working on our 1990 GMC K1500 uh, and we're going to be pulling out the front differential. We've got quite a few different leaks. Uh, we've got leaking axle seals, a leaking pinion seal, and it looks like the two halves of the case itself are also leaking. Uh, so we're going to make a quick video to show you how to get this front differential pulled out. So the first step actually is to remove the wheels and then we'll go underneath and I'll show you all of those leaks. Here we are under the truck, we've got the wheels off. So I'm gonna just show you what problems are we trying to address. So we've got an axle seal leak on this side, so that's the passenger side at the end of the axle tube where it connects to the CV axle. We've got another axle seal leaking on the driver's side. So that's again where it connects to the CV axle. We've got a little bit of a pinion seal leak, not too bad. But the worst of this is if you come up here above this skid guard and take a look, we can see there's just quite a leak between the two halves of this differential. And so that'll be much easier to see once we remove this skid plate. So that's just held on with four 15 millimeter bolts. So we'll pull that off and uh, take a better look at it. All right, so we can see here, we've got a huge leak going on, what looks like right between the two halves of this differential. So now we've got the skid plate off. Next step is to disconnect our uh, U-joint here that comes over to the front differential. I've made a mark here on the cap of that U-joint and then the yoke of this front differential, just so we can put it all back together just the way it came apart. I've broken all four of these bolts loose and as well. So those were a, let's see, 7 16 So now we'll go ahead and remove these bolts and we'll be able to drop the front drive shaft. There we go. Um, we're just resting it there on the exhaust crossover pipe for now, but uh, we'll, we'll get something to tie that up and move on to the next step, which is draining the fluid out of this front differential. We had to wipe some of the oil and grease off of this differential to find that drain plug, but it's over here on the driver's side. Uh, the size of that plug is a 13 millimeter. We've got our pan underneath, so we'll go ahead and break this loose. See what we got. There we go. So we'll let that drain for a minute. Uh, put the plug back on. Next up, we've got to disconnect our axle shafts. So they are held on with uh, about six bolts on each side of the front differential. Um, it's a 15 millimeter bolt, so I'm going to be using a breaker bar, and I've got somebody up in the truck holding the brakes to keep the um, axles or the, those CV shafts from actually spinning while I try to loosen them. So, let's give it a try. Here we go, we got one loose. So 
we'll do the other one that we can reach here. And then let up on the brake. Let's rotate this around. And we'll get these two. Go ahead and hit the brake again. So basically we'll just go around and do all of the bolts that way and we'll be ready to remove our CV shafts. Off camera, I went ahead and finished removing all of the bolts holding that axle shaft to the carrier housing. I also just wired those axle shafts up to the upper control arm to hold them out of the way when we, when we dropped the entire differential. And I did the same thing on the other side. Around the back here, you can see there are two plugs. Went ahead and disconnected both of those as well. And so the next step will be to remove these two large bolts. So this one here and this one here that hold the differential to the frame itself. I'm holding that bolt with a, uh, another socket on the top side of the frame and we'll hit the bottom nut with the impact gun and see if we can get it to pop off. There we go. To the bottom. Now we'll see if we can do the same thing on the top bolt. Got that top bolt, the washer, and the nut, which just flew across the room. Um, so next up, we'll, we'll work on the driver's side. So we'll remove the uh, upper and lower carrier bolts. So we've got a lower carrier mount here. And then the only thing holding it on will be the upper carrier mount. So we'll get some jacks positioned uh, before we do that. There's also a vent tube on the driver's side here. It's just a rubber tube that, that slips onto a barb. Just pull that off as well. Here's a look at that uh, vent tube I was talking about. So it's on the driver's side near the, the, where the axle connects. So we should be able to just reach up and kind of wiggle that off. There we go. Just taking a closer look at this uh, vent hose off camera. And I actually, when I pulled that off, I actually broke the fitting that goes into the differential. So you can see a piece of plastic in there. This had just so much grease and grime on it. I didn't notice that there was a, there was actually a clamp here. Um, so be careful, don't do what I did. Uh, loosen, loosen that clamp, slide up the hose and then pull your, your vent tube off. I'll have to buy a new uh, vent fitting that screws into the differential for, for my truck. Uh, we'll link the part number for that in the description just in case you have the same problem. We are now ready to remove this lower differential housing bolt. So this is towards the back of the truck, back by our U-joint. So again, I'm going to hold uh, one side with a wrench. And then we'll use the impact gun on the other side. Go. 
this. The nut came off here. And it actually holds on, that same nut holds this bracket on that was holding our skid plate for the differential. And we should be able to just push this bolt out. You can see the whole whole housing is starting to get loose here. Um, there is really only one bolt holding the piece this this entire housing up now, uh, and so we'll have to get a jack under here before removing that bolt. Here's a look at that upper differential bolt. Uh, I've already backed it out a little bit, um, and it's it should be about ready to pull out. I've also positioned my bridge jack underneath the differential, so I'll set up the camera pull that bolt the rest of the way out and we should be able to lower the differential out of the truck. Hey guys, uh, good news. We have the differential bolts all out and supported on our jack. Bad news is it needs to slide forward a couple of inches to clear that rear uh, mount. And there's no way it's gonna do that with the center link of the steering here connected. So we're gonna have to go ahead and remove that center link so I think what I'm gonna do, start out here on the tie rod. So we'll remove both outer tie rods, then we'll remove the link at the idler arm there, and then the far link over there on the pitman arm. So we'll um, spend a few minutes here to get that center link out and we should be in business. So just a quick video on how to remove an outer tie rod. Uh, so first up, you've got this cotter pin that needs to be straightened. Once we've got it straightened, you should be able to grab it, work it out of the hole through the bolt. There we go. The nut on this tie rod is in 11 sixteenths. And then one trick that I like is actually to hit the side of the knuckle here a few times and this tie rod should just pop out. So I'll be pulling down a little bit while I do it. out here of how to remove that center link from both the idler and the pitman arms. Uh, you're going to need a puller like what's shown here. Um, basically you just wedge the jaws up above the center link and uh, tighten this bottom bolt here. Uh, it'll push on the center of the, either the idler arm or the pitman arm stud and should pull that center link right down. So we've got the entire steering linkage out. Now, we're ready to try lowering the differential again. So the front differential is out. I'll spare you guys the 15 minutes of me wiggling it back and forth to get it out. Um, the one tip I do have for you is that as you lower that front differential, you actually want to tip it forward. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about once you're under your truck. There is a rear mounting bracket. So that bolt we removed for the rear mounting bracket, that bracket is actually welded to the frame. And you'll have to tip that entire front differential forward in order to clear that bracket as you lower it. Um, so now that we have it out, uh, we can work on it and get it all resealed. Maybe put a new set of bearings in it. We'll see how they look um and go from there uh so we've got a lot of other projects coming up on this truck including a front suspension rebuild so please do subscribe if you enjoy this content thank you